Food is a basic right that shouldn't be difficult for people to access. When you go past being hungry, where you can't explain to someone where you're just sleeping and you're just moaning and moaning in the middle of the night. I know there's people that go through that, or even worse. When you're giving food to people to sustain them for their survival, you've got no business giving the bare minimum. We are very proud of the food parcels that we put out. It all started with one community kitchen in May of 2020. So much more than just people standing in a line waiting for food. It's how we connect with a lot of people in community. It's how we really build relationships with people in communities as well. They become my friends, my fathers. They will tell me their problems. I wish I can feed them every day because I'm bringing hope to them. So I wake up 3 o'clock, so by 8 o'clock we start uh, dishing the food. We move from place to place to, to feed the people. When I'm there, they, they can see that I, I, I restore their, their, their dignity. I saw the level of poverty, you know, within the communities. And then I said, how can I help? For me, it is about restoring the dignity of the people of Hillcrest. Providing food is really just the cherry on top for us. We have such a great relationships with not just the ladies, the gogos and the men so that we can understand their need holistically. We run a community kitchen um, in Joslova in Langa. All the young people come together, have um, conversations, we talk about things that are affecting us. The community kitchen is also a bridge between the work of gender-based violence and femicide that we do with men and young boys. We are feeding, but empowering and, and developing those people is essential. You can provide food, you can, you can serve, but if you don't have love, you know, it starts with love. With whatever we do, we need to have love in our hearts. If we come together, we can bring a change. Loving each other also can raise that spirit of standing together and being in unity.